All right, what's up everyone? This is Shrewd Stocks here. It is Sunday, February 7th, 2021. No movement, of course, it was the weekend, so hope everyone enjoyed it. But this is a big day, all right? Today is Sunday, meaning tomorrow is gonna be Monday. <laughs> and Monday means that the markets are gonna be open and this is our time to start making money, okay guys? And I want to, I want to show you guys where we're sitting at right now, okay? We're sitting at all of these shares right here. We have NEO, VJC, ZOM, Skills, STPK, MP, a few positions here in the middle, and then the big one is Clove. Now, I'm gonna be going through each one of these one by one and explaining what we're trying to do with each one of these, but I want to sh share this with you right now. For today, for when Monday opens, I'm not planning to change any of these items right here, okay? These are all gonna stick, and if you guys wanna play, you guys wanna follow along, you can follow along with me obviously adjust it according to however much is in your account what's in your balance and budget things like that but i want you guys to see what what i'm doing here and i'm going to start out with talking about this one position here right now last time i talked a little bit about zom uh that true form of medication that's supposed to be coming out but i'll, I'll go more in depth on all of these but today i really want to talk about clover health right here this is a play I got into, I'll tell you right here. I got into it right around initially, where is it? It was 13, it was something around here. It was like 1304, 13 something around that. And that's when I first got into Clover Health. And then I picked it up again when it was when it dipped below $11. So you can see my, my overall position here is around 1267. Guys, the reason why I'm going into Clover Health, I told you in the last video, that I wanted you guys to do me a favor. I wanted you guys to do what? I wanted you to look up videos of Chamath, okay? Chamath is the person who, who is behind this uh, company. He's, he's not the CEO, he's not that. But he helped bring this thing public, okay? He has his own, he has his own reputation on the line with this. He has his own, uh, he has his own name on the line. He has his own money on the line. He's involved in this. And the thing is, is he, I, if you look up who's the CEO of this, who are the CEOs, CFOs, Chamath has known these people for a while. He did not just have random people. He did not invest in a company that it's just random people off the street came into. I really have faith in this in this company, and I'll tell you I'll tell you a few reasons why. Because if you look at his number one, I'm going to go through this like in a few different steps. I want to talk about why I picked this company, what's the previous track records that led me here, and then where this company is going for in the future. If you look at Chamath from before, he used to be working at Facebook, right? When did he join Facebook? 07. 2007, Facebook, believe it or not, was actually at a plateau. They had a big market, of course. That, that was a big, big time for them. But it was nowhere near where it is today. It was absolutely nothing like that. And he ultimately is the person who had a big, big role in getting Facebook off the ground and expanding it to the next levels of where it is, like, you know, where it ended up going in 2012, 2013, 14, 15, so on. He has played an incredible role in that. He is not someone, and then guess what? He, he jumped ship. He's no longer working at Facebook. He went into venture capitalism. The thing is, is it's interesting. This is the trend I'm noticing. When he left the company, guess what? Facebook started again to plateau. And when he tells us, when he tells us in his, he, he put out a tweet saying, I'm just going to let Clover's uh, profitability and company speak for its results, it speak for itself. He's going to let the results speak for itself. Sorry. Um, when Chamath says something like that about Clover Health, because despite that short report that came out from Hindenburg, that was his response. He's going to let the results of Clover Health speak for itself. Guys, he is not an idiot. He, Chamath is not, is, is not a, like stupid. He knows what he's talking about, and he has an idea of what's going on with this. And look, you just can't go and look, I'm just saying why my conviction in him is so high. But if I look at who he, who are the CEOs, CFOs, COOs, there are people that Chamath has known for years, years of friendship, years of relationship. He's known these people. He would not be investing his own name, reputation, money. He would not be doing that for a group that he could not believe in, that he does not agree with their vision. Now, look, this is all just talk. This is all just talk, of course. Now, what I want to share with you is where this company is going, though, in the future, all right? What Clover Health is doing is they are trying to target the industry of healthcare. 
healthcare is huge, huge, huge. Everybody loves to talk about EVs and, you know, uh, battery technologies and things. And yeah, because those are the hot, sexy stocks of today. They, if you have stocks like Neo, Tesla, they've been getting a lot of popularity. And I understand healthcare isn't the hottest thing right now. What you need to be thinking of is what is the hottest thing that's going to be happening in two years, three years? And I'm telling you it's healthcare. It, it has to be because that's, that's what I'm trying to logic here because Joe Biden just came into presidency, right? That's one thing we can all agree on. He is the president. And one of his big things is he wants to expand healthcare for everyone. He's considering lowering Medicare age to 60 even. Clover Health is out here trying to capture that demographic, number one. They are right now trying to capture the demographic of Medicare patients. They've already partnered with Walmart. Walmart is, is enormous. It's a, you can already go into their stores and see booths of Clover Health right there. They're already beginning this process, guys. This is what I'm trying to tell you. When they are going into healthcare, what this means is this is not a company that you're investing this 1287 or whatever the heck you're doing you're not investing this money for a result this week remember what i said guys tomorrow is monday markets open that does not mean tomorrow you're going to make money or friday you're going to make money what i can almost guarantee though at least for me this uh, look guys if you're following a comp uh, youtube channel called shrewd stocks <laughs> you you should you should know from the start this is not financial advice but um what i'm going to be thinking for myself is within two years one year even this is not going to be 1287. I really don't believe in any way this could be. I, I can't give you a specific number. I wish I could. Because like I'm saying, guys, healthcare, the, the sky's the limit, really, if you think of what they're doing here. They're doing software technology. They're integrating the same ideas that uh, all these teledoc uh, services are doing. They're integrating that, plus actual healthcare itself, Aetna, Blue Cross. They are literally com creating a almost like an ecosystem. <laughs> everybody loves Apple, but everybody thinks of the Apple ecosystem. But now we're talking about a healthcare ecosystem. Can you imagine, can you just imagine if you had that ability in healthcare where everything you do is all in one platform, everything that you need to do, payments, uh, services, medications, doctor's visits, follow-ups, results. This is what I'm saying, guys. This is untapped potential. Now, no one can predict where it's gonna go, but I'm telling you because Chamath did tweet on Friday, literally right before market closed, you can see it right here. Why did it go? Look, it was dipping all day. It was going down, down, down. And then right around here, look, 3.30 p.m., Chamath put out a tweet and then boom, it went up. You can already see within what? 30 minutes, in 30 minutes from 3.30 all the way to market close right here. It went up from from what? It went up from uh, 1170, 1170 all the way up to 1288. This is after one tweet that the guy put out. And he didn't even say anything big in the tweet. He didn't even say anything that big. You know, it's not like he made up a big robust statement or anything. He just put out like a, a few words on, on, his, on his Twitter. And this is what happened, guys. I'm t and I'm, I really feel like this momentum is going to swing in to uh, Monday, Tuesday at least, uh, coming up this week. So we could see this thing bounce all the way back up to maybe like, uh, I, uh, what I'm guessing, what I'm going to guess is like at least maybe somewhere around here, $14. I really think it can probably go back to 14 because look, it seemed, this seemed to be a really solid like support line right here, 14 Um But who knows? I, I can't predict it, but I'm really thinking around 14 And... Guys, I am not going to pull out of this stock if it's just $14. This to me is a long-term play. Now, that's not to say, that's not to say you do not take profits. Because here's the thing, guys. Remember what I said in my first video? I'm trying to grow this account to what? One million. Uh, we want to become millionaires, guys. This is why I want everyone watching this to join in on this journey. We will all become millionaires. I can't promise when. I cannot promise when, but I'm telling you, we can all do it. Um, I'm, I'm, my goal, look, goals are not designed so that you have to hit every single goal. But it's my goal. I, you have to put up some sort of benchmark. I want it within two years to be a millionaire, okay? And that's why I'm saying, when in a big play like Clove, where I know, I have good certainty that this is going to go up over time, 
I'm probably going to be taking profits, I'll be real, most likely around if it ever hits, like, if I can almost double this money right here, if I can go from t maybe around $20 mark, yeah, that's a good profit margin. If I can go from 12.67 to 20, I'll probably take out a good chunk of the money and then I'm not just going to take it out to do nothing with it and then spend it out YOLO on like a bottle service. No, no, no. We take that money, throw it into another play. We take that money and put it into a different play. Now, I don't know what play we're going to be doing around then, but we're going to put that money somewhere else so that can work for us. You see what I'm saying, guys? This 160 that we have here, it may realistically this week drop down to like 150, who knows, maybe even 140. Because look, I, I want you to see all these stocks that, that are, see zone right here. Look at this week it just had, this past one week. It went from $1 to $1.87. This is due for some sort of correction, guys. I, I'm expecting this to drop, okay? I'm expecting this to drop. I'm, I'm thinking maybe around this $1.30, $1.40 mark, but who knows? Who knows how low it's going to drop, but I'm expecting some sort of pullback, guys, and that's normal. That's healthy. What we're doing with Zom is we have a different play going for it. I'm going to hold this one for now, but I want you to see this. The reason why I was able to make money on Zom is because when did I go in on it? I went in on it right here, 99 cent mark. That was somewhere, what, like around this point, right? Oh, no, I missed that boat. Yeah, it was. I remember I missed the big run up right there. It was somewhere around here, though. We need to have different plays that we're looking for, guys. And that's why I'm saying, Clove, you should put money in. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm telling you what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to keep my money in this. And I'm going to wait for this thing to run up to $20. And then I'm going to take that money and then put it somewhere else. Now, I know this one right here, TRIT, this one has been get. This is a, this is a stock in the fintech space. Okay, if you don't, fintech is financial technology. Think of uh, Square um cash app those are fintech that's what they call financial technology this one is due for a run-up guys i'm telling you look i don't have the cash right now and i'm not gonna pull money out and keep swinging and all that but this one i, I have a feeling is gonna go for a run-up guys I, I really think it's gonna be hitting like 10 12 dollars again soon um but look we can't keep chasing every play the way you lose money in the stock market guys is if right now i say Hey, no, look, let me go to TRIT. This one's going to run up this week. Let me sell all the money from Clove and then let me go back into TRIT. Oh, TRIT didn't move, to, didn't move by Tuesday. Let me sell out of TRIT, go into STC. You can't keep moving positions, guys. Once we have a good position, once we have a plan, do not change the plan. It very, very rarely should we change the plan, guys. I'm telling you, if you look at this performance right here, in this last one month or three months half of these times that i ended up doing all this like pull you see how many dots you see this i'm telling you from experience look i kept switching 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 every time i switched money guys it's risky and it's not effective had i just kept my money in just a few of these plays trust me i would have been way better off i'm looking at it and yeah it's nice oh you get to see a run up here you get to see a run up there it's okay to do occasionally guys it's okay to do these like weekly plays occasionally but don't do it consistently i'm telling you from my experience i do not want you guys to be losing money i know this is why i'm saying i'm publishing this on sunday because every sunday i see 20 different videos on the youtube feed of people who are putting money making plays for this week money do this for this week this is what's going to run up this week amc gamestop uh zom this that guys guys do not keep chasing the short-term money you can do it occasionally occasionally you do it that when i say occasionally i mean to be honest if you're just starting out don't even think of it don't even think of it pick the solid plays that you have a timeline on okay clove i'm telling you what my timeline is on it this is a long term because chamath said this stock they're not expecting to be profitable until 2023 guys this is 2023 look that fits within my two-year time frame right <laughs> to become a millionaire and that doesn't mean I'm just going to keep all the money in here, 50 grand locked up for, t for two years. No, no, no. We take profits. We take profits so we can put it somewhere else, right? So that I'm telling you what the game plan is. We're going to hold this long term, but we're going to take profits along the way. For right now, it's going to be around $20-ish. We'll reevaluate around that time. But once it goes to 20, we'll reevaluate. And you got to have a game plan with this, guys. You got to have a game plan. And I I know I'm rambling a lot here. I'm not trying to just like speak BS. I'm really speaking to the audience here who's newcomers because I know a lot of people got into stock market within this last one year. 
and yes, this last one year was really good for a lot of people because most stocks went up. Everybody was talking about Tesla, doing Neo. Yeah, they all made good run-ups, and I'm really happy. But I'm telling you, I've been in the market for years now, years. And I've been in it when I was invested in Tesla, Bitcoin, and they crashed, guys. They crashed. And you will hear so many people talking negative. You will hear so many people tell you to start doubting your plays, doubting what you're doing. And you need to keep, if you have a game plan, you stick to the game plan, guys. That's, uh, I'm going to keep hammering this in every video. I'm, you, if you subscribe here, you're going to hear me ramble about this. But if you have a game plan, you stick to the plan. I can't tell you how important that is because you will hear so many negative thoughts and it's going to get you to worry. It's going to get you to panic sell. It's going to get you to, to think twice of what you're doing. That's why I'm saying, guys, even though I say this is my plan with Clover Health, do your own research. You need to be yourself convinced that this is the play for me. This is the play that will go up and I trust in it. I trust this play and I will not sell it until, you know, whatever my plan is. Okay, guys. Look, that's everything for me, all right? And I'm going to wrap it up right now. Uh, I'm going to put in a link down below if you guys want to sign up for Robinhood if you haven't already. Uh, but please consider investing. And even if you guys have to, I'm telling you, just start with like $100 if you can. Look at this. I, that's what I'm telling you. I, I did it. I did it right here, just $100 or whatever. Just get your feet wet. Just see what it's like, guys. This is not something you need to invest a big amount at once. Just start slowly. Start easy. Just do a hundred dollars, and this is this will build up over time. Within five years, you can become very rich. You you could probably retire in five years if you play it right, guys. Now, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you again for watching, and please, you know, share this along to anyone that you might know who would benefit from it. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.